Man, it's the little things. Look at that trailer. <laughs> Love it. It's gonna make it so fast. Good afternoon, everybody. Dane here with Golsh Hay Farms. And uh, well, we got our first freeze. Last night it dipped down in some areas to about 28 uh, Fahrenheit, that is. So it was a little early, actually, really early. We usually don't see a freeze till uh, mid to end November. And that's somewhat early as well. But it was Halloween night. So October 31st, first freeze. Um, some areas it looks like we're going to do okay. Um, maybe it just nipped the grass. Uh, we still have quite a bit of hay to bale, and some areas got downright cold, 27, 28, like I said. And so we're going to have to go check on those areas and um, see what we're going to do about that. But uh, needless to say, we're still going to cut some hay today, uh, right down the road here from where we were cutting uh, in the previous two videos. I'm going to be hauling hay today, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be the first time I've hauled with a, a tractor and a trailer with a gooseneck and uh, the ball mount. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get after it. First things first, I gotta fuel up one tractor that dad's gonna cut with today, and then I gotta unhook the Mahindra because that's the one I'm gonna use to stack the hay. So let's go do that. Well, it's too cold and it doesn't look like it wants to start. So we're gonna need some jumper cables and see if we can, uh, see if we can get it jumped. I don't know, might have to shoot some actual ether into it, but that's one tractor, that four John Deere 4255. It does not like the cold weather whatsoever. So, uh, we'll have to put some jumper cables on it. Alrighty, oh, got the old mighty Mahindra. Fire it up. <laughs> and uh, we gotta go put the three point spear on that has the gooseneck ball. Uh, and we gotta put the front spear on and uh, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> there goes dad. He's getting all situated. He's going to knock down about 40 acres, and then uh, we've got a small custom job, 16 acres, right down the road that we'll be doing. And, uh, and then we've got another small 16 acre job, and then we go to our big patch up in San Marcos. And that should be it for the hay season. Alrighty, got it all hooked up. Got the Mighty Mahindra ready to go, topped off with fuel. It's got plenty of DEF fluid. Uh, we put the double spear on, make loading and unloading the lifesaver. And then this is what I was talking about for the uh, three-point. So it's a basic hay spear. It's got a receiver on the bottom and then a plate up top. And it's got the two and five sixteenths gooseneck ball bolted to it. So what I can do is I can tote this trailer and set it in the middle of the field, drop it, and then go just skate around and pick up all my bales instead of like having to tote them back and forth. This is gonna make life so much easier. So I'll stack them on here. Whenever I think it's full enough, I'll run it back over here and unload them and then go back and repeat the process. So I've got about 37 to haul from this field over here. And then I've got, I'm gonna, haul, I'm gonna try to haul as much as Ryan's as I can. All right, here's where I'm gonna drop it, right in the middle of all these bales. All you gotta do is uh, lower the three point. And down she goes. That's it, and we're off. Well, that was an interesting uh, hour break. 
dad was having trouble, uh, not necessarily trouble, but uh, he was having trouble with the mower cutting well. What was happening is the, the ground's still a little wet and that on the other side of the creek that soil's kind of got a lot of clay in it. And so it was real tacky and it was building up on the cutter bar of the mower as he drug it along. We tried to adjust it a couple different ways to see if we could combat the, the uh, mud issue, but it wasn't working. It was just cutting that mud builds up past the blades, so it pushes the grass over before the blades have a chance to chop it off. And if the blades do chop it, it, uh, it leaves it real long and raggedy, and we don't like that. And we're losing hay that away, so. Uh, he's going to cut another patch down the road. It's actually bone dry. We drove over there and checked it. Which is funny, it's usually one of our more wet patches, but uh, today it wasn't. So he's gonna go cut that and I'm gonna finish what I started. I have four bales stacked on the trailer over there, so not a good, very, very productive Friday, that's for sure. So anyway, we're back at it, back in the tractor, heading back down the road to get in a, another patch to start loading some hay. on the front 22 on there and I'm um, backing up to this trailer here here we go there it is that's all she wrote let's get out and take a look now that's how you're supposed to haul hey jet two on the front 22 on the trailer the tires are squatting a little bit it worked pretty well can't complain. Now we just gotta go uh, bring it over there, unload it, and do it all over again. Well, it's definitely some weight for this little tractor here, but uh, it's doing it. It's doing it. I'm in high T right now, not really trying to get after it. But uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that uh, it's uh, really struggling to get some uh, get going with all this weight. So, uh, but it might even hinder doing just fine, just fine. Mahindra doing just fine, just fine. It might have been doing just fine, just fine. We're almost to where we need to be to drop this trailer and then uh, we'll unload it. And then I've only got to pick off like 15, 22, 15 more. So, um, and then I'm going to start uh, stacking as far as I can on them, stacking Ryan stuff. So. Man, that was easy. Woo! 22, 24. I'll give you all a Time lapse. the way you're supposed to unload some hay. So that was uh, 24 I just hauled in about 28 minutes, 38, 38 minutes. It's all in here. Let's go grab 15 more. Mm. Alrighty, just picked up, it was 13, my math is terrible. Uh, 
We just we did this job on shares, 50-50 shares, so we made 74 bales, and, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, so that obviously leaves us uh, 37. So uh, I'm done hauling these. I'm gonna jump over and haul uh, as much as I can for Ryan real quick, since I'm all hooked up and already got it going. So uh, we'll get to it. Finished up this evening. I'm gonna go eat with the family, but they ended up hauling 16 for Mr. Ryan. So, uh, yeah, this thing's pretty handy. I highly recommend Armstrong makes this one. This is one they built right. Um, it's got a lower receiver for a smaller trailer. Got, a, obviously, the big ball that I was using hooks perfectly up to uh, a gooseneck on here. Uh, makes, makes, hauling, makes hauling bales a dream. And then, um, ever since we shortened this dude right here, we had Ryan's cousin shorten it. It's a lifesaver. Two bells at a time, cut your time in half, it's the way to go. Mighty Mahindra did pretty well. Oh, and uh, guess what? We hit 50 hours on it, so it's about time to do that 50 hour review. Um, got some good things, got some bad things. Uh, got some meh things, but uh, overall I think it's been a pretty good track. But uh, we've got plenty more bailing to do. I mean, it's coming. Um, you know, we have, Dad just knocked down 16 acres. You know, we have 40 acres over here. We gotta go to San Marcos and knock down a couple hundred. So uh, plenty more action, expect to see a lot more videos. Before you do anything, if you've made it this far in the video, we appreciate it. You're probably one of our more avid or better fans, I guess you'd say, who uh, watched it all the way through and we can't thank you enough. Um, go ahead and like it. We need, we need all the likes we can get. Um, I guess it helps out the YouTube algorithm if YouTube sees that this video gets a lot of likes or our videos get a lot of likes They push it out to more people and uh, we'd love for our videos to be pushed out to more people So if you could do us a solid favor, go ahead and get hit thumbs up again. We can't thank you enough guys uh, That's all I have for today. Uh, probably a short video, but I just kind of wanted to show you how we're gonna start hauling hay It's an easy way to do it. I highly recommend it if you have the tractor to uh, Who's got enough oomph in it to uh, hold those uh hold that weight but uh yeah go ahead and get that three point hitch with a gooseneck ball and uh, haul hay out of the field just like that but anyways thanks guys love you uh can't wait to uh see what the future holds for this youtube channel y'all are the best y'all are making it grow um take care peace